next, we're going to find out how the tests are conducted in order to guarantee the IP rating. This technical characteristic offers information about the protection provided by enclosures against the entry of hazardous parts, solid foreign bodies and water. IP tests are normally conducted in accordance with the IEC 60529 standard. The code includes two digits. The first digit ranges between 0 and 6. The higher the number, the greater the degree of protection. Specifically, the first digit indicates, on the one hand, the protection for individuals against the access of hazardous parts, limiting or preventing the ingress of different types of foreign objects. And on the other, the protection of the equipment against minute particles such as dust, which could damage the operation of the equipment. We start with the IP3X test. The purpose of this test is to check the possibility of access to the enclosures of objects, tools or wires with a thickness greater than or equal to 2.5 millimeters. To perform the test, we use a 2.5 millimeter rod and check that it cannot enter the inside of the enclosure. If the rod is able to enter the inside, the enclosure fails the test. The IP4X test also serves to test the possibility of access of objects, tools or wires to the inside of the enclosure. However, in this case, the thickness of the objects must not be greater than one millimeter. To perform the test, we use a one millimeter rod and check that it cannot enter the inside of the enclosure. If the one millimeter rod penetrates the interior of the enclosure, then the box does not comply with the required criteria. It's possible to increase the rating required of our enclosures to control ingress, not only against objects, but also against dust. The purpose of the IP5X test is to confirm that dust will not damage the satisfactory operation of the equipment. A dust chamber is used to conduct this test. The sample is placed in the test chamber for eight hours. It's important to remember that for empty enclosures, the test must be conducted without creating a negative pressure. After eight hours of testing, the sample is removed from the chamber and checked to confirm that the amount of dust inside the box is less than one gram per square meter. In practice, this means that dust should not enter the interior. The purpose of the IP6X test is to confirm that the enclosure is totally dust tight. To run the test, the dust chamber is used once again. However, this time a negative pressure of 20 millibars is created inside the chamber. The sample is left in the chamber for eight hours in these atmospheric conditions. After eight hours, the sample is removed from the chamber and to consider the test as positive, there must not be any dust inside the enclosure. For the first digit of the IP rating, compliance with one digit implies compliance with all the previous digits. That is, if the product complies with the IP5X, then it also complies with the 4X and 3X. At IDE, we have enclosures which are suited to the different applications required by the installations.